Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, we'll be learning how to create a JavaScript build system from within Sublime Text. So having a build system for JavaScript is going to be convenient if we want to write some code outside of the browser and just do things like viewing console output from directly within Sublime. So I have a test JavaScript file here which simply logs some messages to the console and we'll try to get this to work within Sublime Text. Now the Sublime Text build systems can run commands just like we run commands from within our terminal. So if we can get JavaScript to log console output to our terminal, then we can get this to work within Sublime Text also. Now the easiest way that I've seen to do this is to use Node. So to install Node, if you go on Google and just search for Node.js, then one of the first links will take you to the download page. So go ahead and navigate to that page and then download that from the website and then follow the instructions to install it. Now once you finish that install, then you should be able to open up your terminal and from within your terminal, if you type node space dash v, as long as you don't get any errors and you see a version there, then that should mean that you have the latest version of node installed. Now with this node command, we can actually pass JavaScript files into that. So if I do a node and then test.js, I'm gonna be passing in this test JavaScript file that I have here. Now if I run that, then you can see that it outputted the console output that I have here in my test file. So now that we have this working from within our terminal, now let's get it working from within Sublime Text. So in order to do this, uh, go up to Tools and then Build System. And from here, we want to make a new build system. Now I have another file over here that I'm just going to copy and paste uh, so that I don't have to type everything out, but then I'll explain exactly what we're doing here. So this is just like running a command from within our terminal. So this CMD right here, uh, first we're passing in this node command, and then after that we're passing in this file variable. And this is gonna be an absolute path to whichever file that we're trying to run from within Sublime Text. Uh, now this selector line here, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, all it does is it helps the automatic Sublime Text build system when running files with certain extensions. Now if we were to save this as a build system right now, then it should work uh, with the way that we have it written down here. But I did see that some people online have mentioned that they had trouble getting this to work and that they had to put in the full path to the node command in order to get it to work properly. So to get the full path to the node command, if you want to put this in, uh, it couldn't hurt. If you go back to your terminal and just type in which node, then it's going to print out the full path to that node command. So now if we copy this and just replace this node with that entire path, now we can just go ahead and save this as our build system. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and whenever it pulls up to save it, be sure that you leave on this Sublime build extension here, and we only change the name. So the name of this build system, I'm just going to call Node and save that. Okay, so now, uh, let me not save that. So now I should be able to go to Tools and Build System, and I should be able to see Node here. So I'm going to go ahead and select Node as our build system. And now I'm going to try to use that build system to run this test JavaScript file using command B. And you can see that that did work. We logged out our message here just like it worked over here within the terminal. And just to make sure that this is working properly, let me go ahead and comment out this slightly more difficult example using a closure. And if I run that, then you can see that it logged out all of the uh, correct output also. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you find it useful to be able to run JavaScript like this from within Sublime. Uh, if you do have any questions about this, just feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you all for watching.